Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Unfair Difficulty. Time for us to land on the planet with a nice little starport. And I hope this time we can easily speak to the governor and kind of resolve some matters. I think we still need a tech priest and uh, mm, yeah, it would be good if I can finally buy some med kits, you know? Look at that. Of course, it's carnage and war. If humans aren't uh, battling Xenos, they continue battling themselves. Support greets you with a din of ordnance. Halt! Weapons on the ground or I'm firing. Uh, the skies are on lockdown. Anything that flies should be shot down. Uh, and a shuttle like that, where did you get it? Stolen from the palace, isn't it? Grab them, lads. We got rebel forces ahead of us. And uh, I say you must be mistaken. I'm the rogue trader of the House Valencius. The soldier grows more and more pale with every word you say. As soon as you're done speaking, he falls to the knees. Your lordship. Uh, I didn't recognize you. Please pardon my blunder. It's a bloodbath in here. Frag grenade of explosion cuts off the rest of the sergeant's words. Shrapnels fly everywhere. One of the soldiers falls down to the ground, clutching the remains of his forearm that is now adorned with a crimson tatter. Pardon me, sir. Sergeant Las Malga reporting. My unit is holding the starport on governor's orders. How may I serve? What's going on here? Unrest, sir. The armed rebellion, both in the capital, first on the lower levels. Then they hit the Vox huts, the arsenal, the Mac train station. And Cassia comes in and says, that's this wild Philok torn off his mask precisely because he knew about the trouble on Ricard Minoris. He knew that none of our allies would come to our aid. My unit was here when it all went uh, to the Grox. The tech priests linked the satellite report sighting of a strange void ship in the system. Uh, they were uh, orbiting a star until they set course and landing to Reichert. Uh, governor took super precaution and sent us out here. And you've been crushed because you were late to arrive at Rikas Menoris. Wonderful. Uh, they'll drive us out of here any minute. Okay, I cannot leave uh, your people without aid. Reinforcements will be sent from my ship. And he is good with that. We won't fail. We won't forget. We'll be praying for the Emperor, your Lordship. And now I want to see the Governor. If I may report, sir, as long as the rebels keep shooting their damned anti-aircraft batteries, absolutely no way that you shuttle to the Governor. I have no one to send with you on an escort. I assigned all available troops to the estate tech priest. Meanwhile, um, we will follow the Governor's orders and hoard the line here. Okay. We got rumors, guys. We got rumors. An unidentified warp ship. And we got a huge map Embrace true just power. waiting to be explored. Alright, what are you guys doing here? Grand Vidaduk is receiving esteemed guests buried under the, the rubble. World will bow. Got a couple of goods here as well. Let me just set up. This is incorrect. Very much so. This here is the correct order of things. Oh no. Good. This is the correct order of things. I like that. Alright, needed to take care of my child. Uh, let's go into that battle. May his light harden our hearts. New trials await us in this place. If not but ashes. I will level you. What are we up against? Oh boy, 
These guys have 40 hit points. That's twice as much as us. Hmm. Alright, Saiken here. Uh, Iridia. Listen, good question. I don't know. I really don't want to move too far up. Let's start in full cover. Argenta over there. Abelard and Cassia. Hmm. Uh, let's start the battle. Let's make it quick. Let's get to it. Let's hope that these guys are not hitting as hard as... ...as uh, they have hit points. Alright, so we got Voice of Command, uh, which uh, raises all ca characteristics, and we got Bring Him Down. And then we got the Lidless Stare, which by itself is great. I am just wondering if we were to go to here... And Lidless Stare. That'll be a lot of damage. How about here? Hmm. Okay, and now price question. How about from here? That's three hits. Three hits at best. Hmm. Sure, I let's try that. Okay, we're still standing in cover. That's the important part. I've seen her use that on. Uh, the station and it seems to remove cover now either anyone gets an extra turn or if Characteristics uh, Abelard, I think you need better characteristics There you go Here we go Let's get to it Can our agenda just delay? Is that possible? Could we delay her? Hmm. Is it possible to just delay a little bit so that Arboran uh, um, Abelard can go first? Potentially not. For the weak. But I do have an idea. Uh, how is this year going to look? Well, that's going to look exemplarily good. And how about this? All right, I think this is a good position. Be the fire in my heart. There we go. Let's go. Fabulous. I should have As taken the commands, I that act. shooting first. Then we're moving to here. That is not the Emperor's will. Well, good hits. I think overall Argenta did a very nice job and we ran out of um, action points so we could have not taken concentrated fire even if we wanted to.
starting with brace for impact that affects uh, Argenta as well. A tactically sound approach. It will be done. One fewer target. Uh, we're I just rushing. There we go. Victory is imminent. More endurance. I think he's doing very well with the brace for impact. Uh, he has deflection, and that should help him. Whoa! He really just got sniped from that distance. Oh. My faith strengthens me. Wow, that was an amazing amount of damage. I will triumph. Get that rebel. And I think we're just going to kill me. One. This is beneath me. And two. What a satisfying device. Fantastic. Saiken is dealing a good amount of damage. The sniper rifle was a fantastic idea for him. Let's get to it. Sniper uh, Psyker, as anyone knows, it's a good combination. Okay, that's not bad. Let's do that very aggressive, but. That is foolishness. We need to hit all of the back lines and the littlest stair is too good to not uh, do that. Um, good. Abelard, you take another turn. Around. Which he uses in order to strike and taunt the other enemy off of her. Fair enough. Cassia will have a problem. But there is only so much I can do about it. All right, let's go. Concentrated fire. Can escape the Emperor's judgment. Lovely. That's what I'm looking for. As the Emperor commands, We're getting rid of winded and increase our uh, ballistic skill. Unfortunately, we can't move further, but we're good. At your beck and call. <laughs> A nice little hit. It will be done. And sure. <laughs> Let's taunt this guy. Let's Get make it through. quick. How dare you? Weapon at the ready. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage, but there is only so much we can do about it. Ruin beckons. Death shall reign. 
Nice little crit. Good job, Saiken. I will triumph. One step closer. I will not stoop to this. Moves into more cover and I just hits this bruiser. No Saiken dealt a lot of damage, potentially amongst the most overall. Cassia potentially a bit more due to the AoE. Scared, yeah. <laughs> Lost in our ranks. And I thought we would uh, manage to let her survive. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. I'll do it. This is unacceptable. Good, we need to reload. It is what it is. At your back and call. That's not the Seneschal's job. I will do my duty. Good, taunt both of them off of uh, her. Maggot. Pain and duty go hand in hand. What a satisfying nice, device. great. I won't waste my time on that. All right. Show me what you've got. Rejoice in battle. Faith without deeds is worthless. Very nice, Argentia. Doubt is for the weak. I refuse. Does this, God then runs up. Through me. Be the fire in my heart. Uh, and then just the kills this guy. I nope. Act. Apparently not. Follow my lead. At your back and reduce to dust. Unbelievable. Iridia got knocked down right off the bat. And well, it is. It also sucks uh, that Cassia took so much damage. But boy, that was a hard fight, and <laughs> we just barely arrived here. Holy! Um, and they do have good carapace armor, which I think we're just going to take some. Stun baton might even be better than our uh, stuff. Scrappy laser gun. Okay, let's just double check. So we got ourselves a bit of light carapace, which I think is simply better than what we currently have. On some of our characters, I should say. I don't know, this uh, close one, she's dodging. But I think she would be better off with more dodge and less armor. That's 100% in uh, some. And this here is only 85%. I know that this is not how percent chances work. Both of them are independent roles, but uh, dodge is no damage whatsoever can only be reduced by enemies 
attacks so I think it's worth it and then finally stun baton chainsword is good stun baton is a good offhand so yeah sure why not um, let's upgrade let's level up everyone warrior gets a new talent um, I think more toughness equals more good because we need more hit points agility isn't bad either I will say because more dodging means less problems but for now let's go with toughness and while under 40 percent wounds character gains 10 bonus to all characteristics and two resolve that is not that's not bad that's not bad at all uh imperial world characters 10 percent critical chance against uh, xenos well both of that is fine but i do have a couple of other nice uh, stuff here let me just read through it. All right, so I ended up with Do Not Falter, but it was a close call because I also like the Dueling Master with 15% uh, parry. But I think this one here is good because uh, number one, you do not suffer negative effects of melee superiority for the entire combat. So that's effectively better than Combat Master. Uh, and uh, in any target surrounded by more than one enemy receives plus 10 weapon skill bonus for each additional ally that sounds like a good idea to me which means uh, he is stronger i also saw um, that there are a couple of cool abilities that i will uh, take into consideration one of which is uh, characteristic training uh, which basically allows you to add a characteristic that elsewise wouldn't be there. So for Saiken, and I can add the characteristic intelligence to archetype that elsewise do not have intelligence. And I'll do that in the next archetype. I think we're starting with willpower. And then, well, maybe I'm going to add it. Uh, hmm, good question. No, I think I'll add it for the next archetype so that I have the entire archetype wheel to upgrade intelligence. Um, because that will upgrade our uh, skills as uh, as well uh, in the meantime uh, we have do not falter so that allows us to be level seven and boy we are in dire need of uh, better of better leveling in general i think i'll get toughness to 70 uh, that also gets carouse up and then the weapon skill will be important and strength is important for heavier armor i already found that out as well strength goes for athletics so he's the main guy for athletic checks and uh, the weapon skill will be just him moshing through the front uh, front line through all of the enemies good for argenta what are we going to do ballistic skill why is that locked You already have that feature. Oh, I see. Okay, so you need to choose feature. Ah, I see. Okay. Archetype Soldier does have that feature twice. Cool. Well, in that case, um, I mean, for her, agility is good, right? Because agility um, measures dodge chance and uh, dodge reduction, initiative, and so on. So I like that, plus it'll make her good. Um, I could see her using strengths as well because she could be kind of a little bit heavier armored character. So I will not take that out of the option. And uh, let's see what, what else we want to upgrade with her. All right, for her, we're taking stronger together. All allies uh, in the current party gain plus five to the characteristic that was chosen as humanity's finest. And here she has chosen agility, which is useful for everyone. So this here gives plus five agility for everyone, if I understand that correct. Uh, let's just double check. 
Yes, it does. Damn, that's a good uh, ability for everyone. Good job, Argenta. Lovely job. All right, uh, we're going with Iridia. Okay, really cool. Uh, with Iridia, we could now learn a new, um, a new, yeah, form of casting. She's a diviner. I get it. She has telepathy, but I don't want to skill her into telepathy. I uh, will go with the divine uh, divination all along and maybe find the second one. I don't know if we're getting a biomancer at some point, but maybe Iridia could be kind of the healer of the group as well. For uh, the divination, we have the selection between four um, aboding, which basically creates an area where everybody receives pretty sizable dodge bonuses or um, presence where the target gains intelligence, intelligence, perception, fellowship, and willpower until the end of uh, the combat. And willpower is definitely a nice, a nice option. Uh, perception isn't bad either for hitting. And I'm just thinking: should I use that and then basically buff both of the other psi characters? And you do have foreboding uh, for dodging. No, you. What's it called? The base skill. You know what I mean. The the one that she's using regularly. Um, it feels that foreboding might be doubling down on that whole dodge thing. But it seems to stack. And dodge is good because it means we're not taking damage. So. That's an AoE party buff, and it costs 2 AP, so that's a bit expensive. But then again, we do have plenty of AP left over. Then for her abilities, I think we're just going with awareness, to be fair, because she's really good at awareness at this point. Demolition would be another option, but we don't have demolition. Certainly none of the lore, because uh, Saiken's already doing that. Medikai could be something. Tech use too low, I think. Uh, and logic also too low. So let's go with awareness for now. Which brings us to our officer. Officer, 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 Cassia. Let's see what we're giving her. Okay, really many, many good abilities that the Navigator gets. Very unique abilities as well. <clears throat> so I read through them and as always, kind of stack up and you need to, uh, first of all, um, get to them. A couple that um, just jump out because I found them interesting is um, Mend Reality, which um, uh, degrades the Veil. Uh, by uh, willpower so it allows us to use more psi that in itself is good i like that uh, point of curiosity i found very very good enemies uh, in an area move towards a certain point so that you can cluster them up they get out of uh, cover and you can better aoe them a couple of other things as well uh, permanent willpower and toughness increase for others this year was super good. Vigil Beyond Time. Use it the first time um, and um, on a target and mark the uh, target second time. Uh, target is uh, is uh, moved back to the position where it was during the first use. Um, so you you basically uh, turn back time. I'm not sure if you, if that works on allies, but that would be awesome. Um, Zone of Fear pushes everybody out, um, all enemies debuff, big fat warp curse for everyone. I really like what I'm seeing, but I think I will go for uh, just a couple of uh, things. Um, the Mend Reality seems good, 
doesn't only uh, decrease the degradation, but all allies gain deflection against warp damage. And I don't see that we have any protection against that yet, so it's essentially an option to uh, fight against warp. And in order to do that, we do need to take either a Glimpse of Fate or Revel the Light. And uh, Glimpse of Fate uh, allows uh, an improved hit chance and dodge on the ne next dodge test uh, or uh, resistance on resistance test. That's fine. I appreciate it. The other one would be uh, Reveal the Light, uh, where until the end of the combat, uh, which is oftentimes longer, uh, target gains uh, massive willpower and end toughness buff until until that uh, very end. Willpower is currently at a uh, whooping plus 6, so that's 24 willpower for someone, and it costs 1 AP. So uh, sign me up, uh, Buttercup, that's what we are taking, Revel and Light. And uh, we are combining that together with is combined with Veil of Protection. Allies that are targeted by navigator powers, which we just selected one, also on top of it gain 10 armor. Keep that in mind. You, you get 20, uh, 26 toughness, 26 willpower and 10 armor. That's a dope, absolutely phenomenal buff. Lovely, very good. If she wouldn't just go down, it would be even better. Which brings us to El Saiken, uh, the, uh, the man himself, who can no longer raise willpower. That's a bit of a problem. Um, but what else are we going to do? I mean, ballistic skill isn't bad, because we do have um, an ability that triggers off of ballistic skill. Agility isn't bad, uh, for numerous reasons, uh, mainly also it being dodge and so on. So uh, that might not be bad either. Let me just check something. Alright, after a little bit of looking at the soldier, we do have two further characteristics that we're getting. And I just learned that you can only take a characteristic twice uh, with an archetype. Because you can see that here with Willpower, uh, we got the Archetype Advancement for Soldier, plus 10, and now we're kept. So that means uh, I can't just uh, take that talent the next time, uh, as with the next Archetype, and then just put uh, everything into um, Intelligence. That's not how it is going to work. Uh, we are... Taking the common feature, character gains 5 intelligence, character may improve trained characteristics even if their archetype or origin does not allow it. And we're going to do that for intelligence because that'll upgrade, as you can see, all of these skills, every single one with the exception of three skills are, um, no, four skills, sorry, demolition not, but everything else is just keying off of intelligence and that's so good. Uh, Saiken is going to be kind of the master uh, skill expert. So we're going to use another plus 10 to intelligence here, which will bring the intelligence then to 60, I think. At the moment, um, yeah, at the moment we are at 50, so we're going to go all the way to 60. And the reason why I'm not so fast about willpower uh, is because with the buff uh, from our navigator, we can get uh, an easy peasy 80 willpower out of it, which is great. Uh, I don't know if the skills cap at 100, but my point is that alone makes us very, very good. I also decided that we're going for ballistic skill over agility because the ballistic skill works together with our uh, psi damage and the agility basically does not. And there are other ways of gaining more dodge. At the moment it's fine, but I'm sure that we will find some other way of just getting more dodge. And frankly, Saigon is standing um, in the back line, so he really shouldn't be hit that often. Um, I am happy with uh, the find of uh, characteristic training. We're going to apply that. As you can see, up to 50 intelligence which is now our second highest value um, then we do have ballistic skill and with his uh, sniper rifle he's actually at the moment doing reasonably well 
Very good, very good, very good. Um, let me clean up everything, go back to the ship, and uh, this is a perfect time to end uh, the episode here. We're going to take all of that. We're going to go back to the ship because we are bruised and that needs to be healed. And once we're done with that, we're going to come back and we're going to be stronger and meaner than ever. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, do me a favor and level up my channel or help me level up my channel by clicking that like button and let me know how it worked. Thanks a lot. Have a good one and bye bye.